Are you about to teach your first ever ESL lesson, but you're having a little bit of an enormous panic about the whole thing? Well, don't worry. I promise you'll live to tell the tale, and these eight tips will help you to prepare for this mildly terrifying, but also formative and memorable moment in your teaching career. Ahoy from Prague. I'm Paul Colto, and I vividly remember the dank, unrelenting terror that I felt the night before I taught my first ever English lesson. I lay in bed in the darkness, staring at the ceiling in disbelief that after just one month of training, I was expected to teach four pharmaceutical executives in the center of Prague. The lesson was scheduled to start at 7 a.m. on a Monday morning in November. The sun had barely risen by the time the lesson started, but I must have done something right because within a few months, one of the students from that class called me and asked me if I would teach his daughter English. And that was maybe my second ever private student. I clearly remember imagining that those pharma executives would be cold, monosyllabic, disinterested monsters, but in actual truth, they were warm, friendly, welcoming, and keen to learn. And after that lesson, thankfully, the terror was gone. So my first tip is just to keep the lesson plan simple. I'll be doing a video soon on what I think makes a great first ESL lesson. But to summarize, I'd say just keep it to introduction. So introducing yourself and getting your students to introduce themselves. Uh, find out what their passions and hobbies and interests are because that's what you'll get the most currency from conversation-wise in future lessons. A little bit of a needs analysis to find out what skills your students want to practice most. Then some more chat and then maybe just a game to finish which reviews some of the vocabulary you've probably picked up in that first lesson. My second tip is that if you do insist on doing a more formulaic or TEFL-esque lesson, then run your lesson plan by an experienced teacher first. My third tip is to have plenty of filler prepared in case your nerves do get the better of you and you rifle through your lesson a little bit too quickly. So have a couple of games in the tank. And also, there's a fantastic 20-minute TED talk on how the puppets for the stage production of War Horse were created. And it's suitable for pretty much any student of an intermediate level and above. And there's a link to that in the description. My fourth tip is don't get drunk the night before the lesson, no matter how nervous you are. Teaching a lesson with a hangover feels three times as long and becomes less about improving your students' English and more about you battling through to the end of the lesson. For my fifth tip, I'm probably going to sound a little bit like your mum and I'm going to tell you to eat breakfast the morning of the lesson. This will give you energy and make sure you've also got a bottle of water with you at all times. My sixth tip is to be professional because first impressions count. So be punctual, be smart, not like this, and speak slowly or as slowly as your nerves will allow because your students will warm to you quicker the easier they find you to understand. My seventh tip is to bear in mind the likelihood that your students don't know it's your first lesson. Remember that. And my eighth and final tip is that you should remember the simple truth that it is only an English lesson. Whether you teach the lesson of the century or you balls it up completely, the likelihood is that within 30 minutes of the end of the lesson, your student is going to be thinking about or doing something else. So I hope those tips are of some use if you are struggling with the nerves that every single teacher feels before teaching their first ever lesson. Are you preparing for your first ever lesson? What are you planning to teach? Or are you an experienced teacher with more tips to offer? Please share in the comments below. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give it a like and consider sharing it with anyone else you think might find it useful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There are new videos every week on international relocation advice, ESL teaching advice, and lots more. So until next time, toot toot. <laughs>